It's just a very, very simple cookbook of beautiful combinations. It's ingredients that just want to work together and it's a whole load of dishes, you know, meat dishes, fish dishes, pastas, salads, noodle dishes, side dishes, little bakes, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff that's super simple, super delicious. As simple as this book is, like there's so much work gone into it, so much testing. By simplifying, you have to focus on the technique. Um, and really the technique's all about just flavor and texture, from cooking the perfect steak to, you know, doing the most incredible, you know, stir-fried rice or dressing a salad in the most delicious way that gives it another dimension. So it's kind of like, not only is it simple, but it's kind of about super techniques. I haven't got a favorite recipe. It's lots of ideas, lots of bits and pieces. Um, yes, there are complete meals, but there's lots of incomplete meals, just like great side dishes, great things to do with rice. There's loads in there that you're gonna wanna do, but not necessarily all at the same time. Keeping things simple and short in recipes, I think is a really good reason to get more people cooking. What's the magic number? You know, is it three, is it four, is it six? And five just kept it really simple, but I like repeating it. It kind of made me feel like uh, there was a really nice rhythm to it. And as I started testing it with other people, they could remember the ingredients off the top of their head. They're not so much favorite, but the ones that I just can't not work without. Uh, good quality extra virgin olive oil is like, is the soul of cooking. A really lovely, leafy, unwaxed lemon. I mean, the stuff you can do with a lemon, man, is just unbelievable. It transforms food. Herbs are everything. If there were no herbs, I would give up cooking tomorrow, I'd just give up. Tomatoes, are they're just the best thing ever, aren't they? You can do so many things with them. Um, and last but not least, the chicken.